Watch it. I walk with the elephants. Rolling, rolling with elephants. Rolling, rolling with elephants. Rolling, rolling with elephants. What a what a fire starts to. Welcome back everyone. Today's the day which I'm going back to university. Back up to Manchester. I managed to bag myself a £6.20 train ticket which gets me all the way back up to Manchester. Which is wicked actually considering the fact I've driven up there twice in the last two weeks. So I'm all packed now. Everything's in the car. So let's head off. Okay, so we've made it back to Peel Park. It feels really good to be back. Um, not much has changed, obviously. Um, however, this room is in a complete and utter state. So it's bloody gorilla. For the rest of the afternoon, I'm going to be sorting this room out and making it back to how it was. Alexa, turn on the lights. She's still got it. <laughs> Alexa, play Spotify. Let's do this. Okay, I've taken a small break from uh, tidying the room up because it's not it's just not going very well. And I did hear in the other room that there was a Matt Burner. He's the only one here. That slow mo montage was Matt cooking, not me, because unfortunately the limitations of my cooking abilities uh, end at making jacket potatoes. Matt, where's everyone else? Where, where are we? Em is it empty? It's empty. No one's here. Where are they all? Oh god, do you want to reel off a list? Yeah, I mean, oh yeah, <laughs> there's nine of us in this flat, so a few of them are working, a few of them are on holiday, a few of them are at uni, all photo shoots. So yeah, that's where they all are. But it's good to be back, isn't it, Matt? Yeah. How long have you been back for? Two weeks. Two I've actually really missed you. Oh, oh thanks, wow. mate. How was your Christmas? It was good, thanks. How was yours? Yeah, really good, Matt. Can I carry on cooking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I spy a scouse. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mate. You've got a t-shirt which you matches know? your bedding. I know. Can we just lay on my bed and get a good shot? Yeah, go on, let's do that. Go on. I've got my minion socks oh. now, just for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, where's Lewis gone? There's just a, a floating head. Yeah, it's good, I like that, mate. It's like I'm on holiday. Good quality bedding. Bye, Matt! Bye, mate! You yeah. know, that's embarrassing. Help him, mate. No? Oh, okay. I'll go and help you in this moment of need, Matt. Stop vlogging! <laughs> it's not funny! <laughs> yeah, it is. It is quite funny. I mean, she sounds perfectly healthy, mate. <laughs> Poor old Matt had an issue with his car and it broke down on the way back from a job. Come on, mate. Let's get you back. So I don't officially start uni till Monday, and today is Friday. Why then am I going into uni? Yeah, what happened with your car after no. after all, Matt? No, so I was driving, I'd gone all the way to Blackburn. Went all the way to Blackburn, started driving back, it was about half seven. Yeah. Um, and I got five minutes down the road, and then all of a sudden the engine warning light came on. And then the car started, it lost all its power, and it started, I can only describe it like chugging. Oh dear. Pulled over as quick as I could, but I couldn't pull over that quickly. No, I was on quite a busy A road. Okay, yeah, so we're coming to uni a little bit earlier because we got an, well, I got an email from the course lead that there was a lady coming today who is one in a, only a handful of women that's actually certified by the, by the CAA to do commercial <laughs> drone operating. I was like, I need to go and see this woman. And then I needed to find some peers to come with me. <laughs> and so that's why Grace and Matt are here. <laughs> Being a man, I knew nothing about drones. Yeah, but you're here to learn about drones. I that's the idea, Grace. Well, there you go. So that's where we're going today.
scary. Grace, are you going to become a uh, drone operator now then? <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> so Grace is having a little go on the simulator, which comes with the DJI app, for those of you drone pilots who have got a drone out there. <laughs> How'd you find it, Grace? Really good. Yeah? I'll have to let you have a go on the Inspire one one day. Imagine. That'd be so good. Didn't Sophie fly your drone? Uh, yeah, she had a go, but it was a different one. So the drone lady today, it was absolutely fabulous to meet her. It got me in the mat in the mood. It got, it got me and Matt in the mood to take the drone out. But you're probably thinking, Elliot, you can't fly the drone in Manchester. Well, nobody says anything about flying in the corridor, did they? I do not condone this whatsoever. Ready, Matt? Let's go. So back when we first started university, both myself, Matt and Josh all bought mini drones, just like these. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing, they're about 30 quid each, and the one which I've got with me, the white one, that's the original one. But Matt actually got this for Christmas, oh, it works. and it still flies. <laughs> if you can fly one of these mini drones, then I can assure you that you can definitely fly the bigger things. These are literally five or six times harder than flying like the Inspire one, for example. And Matt, you've actually mastered that to be fair. Like, you've actually, you've got it. You've nailed it. Hair gets around it. Both hair and water do damage these. So uh, stay safe. So I think that's literally the end of my drone. Oh, bloody hell, Matt. I, honestly, I can't get it started again. I don't, I don't know. I might, buy, I might go and buy another one, to be fair, because they are really good fun, and I would definitely recommend them if you've got um, enough space in your house to, to fly one, which you should have, because they're Very tiny. tiny. Do you guys remember Josh? I, I need some weed. <laughs> <laughs> now, unlike last year, Josh lives in a different student accommodation to myself and Matt because he moved out to move in with John because he didn't get on the bandwagon into moving into Peel Park fast enough. His fault, it's your own fault, Josh. So tonight, both myself and Matt are going to see him because it's been a while. You might remember the whole of our group came here this time last yeah. year whilst looking for a house. And the spoon. Flashback! I'm taking that spoon. <laughs> there he is. The man, the myth, and the legend. <laughs> Josh it's Crane. Hello, mate. Hello. <laughs> this is MTV Cribs. I'm Josh Crane. and this. Well, I'm I'm like in there. It absolutely oh, smells of the green stuff in here, Josh, to be fair. I don't know what that is. Since Amsterdam, everything's been downhill for Josh. Josh's new accommodation. <laughs> This is my crib. This is crib. Let's have a look at the room then. This is El Casa. Yeah? Go on. How does it compare to Peel Park, Josh? Good. Some bits are better, some bits are worse. What bits are better? What bits are worse? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't like, we don't have a carpet here. Yeah. No carpet. Makes it more difficult. Yeah? The room is a bit wider. Um, I've got a beautiful view of something out my window. Oh yeah, I imagine. I see people driving by at 50, 60 miles an hour down a 30 mile an hour street. You miss living with me, Josh. So much. It was good, it so was much. good. I was looking at the highlights the other day. Yeah, but it's good you found a place. It's good you found a place. Yeah. Do you guys remember John as well? Hello. I lived with John last year, me and Josh. And this year, Josh and John decided to move in together um, here in the IQ. So let's go and check John's room out as well. Peel Park is definitely still better, isn't yeah. it? Yes, nope. it is, John. No, 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 yes, it is. Hang on. Here we go. Lovely. Room. Actually, yours is better than Josh's already. Got a Welsh flag. Oh. Would you say that this is better or worse than Peel Park? And for what reason? Much better. For what reason? We have a shop there. Okay, that, that's not a good reason, John. In terms of living, what's your thoughts? It's more spacious. It smells fresher. Yeah. That's because John was messing my room up and making it stink. So it's been good to see you lads. It's Bye. nice to catch you up again. First Thank lectures on Monday, so maybe we'll... We're not in any lectures to. And make sure you buy that merch. Yeah. yeah. You've been watching, it's me Elliot. Smell you later. Let him know when I see him. I'm gonna spin his jaw. Set man tricks by force. <laughs> <laughs> That's mental, lad. You don't know.